Hey, Danilo, uh, you said this morning uh, you stayed ready, you know, so you don't have to get ready, as the, as the veterans like to say. I don't know if you were expecting to play 20 minutes tonight, but how did you did you feel? How, how's the body holding up after all that? Oh, it feels great, especially to get a, to to play and get a win like that is uh, at home is great. So uh, body feels great, and now we got to get ready for another one. <clears throat> you played in a, a lot of great cities, a lot of great teams over the course of your career. I was wondering how the environment here in Milwaukee tonight compared to other experiences you've been and how it might be unique. Uh, it's been uh, amazing. Uh, I mean, I knew it uh, after we lost in the you know Easter Conference Finals. Uh, when was it? When I was in Atlanta, you know, it was an amazing crowd. So, um, and you know, that's why. It's gonna be very important to you know bring the series back home and have our you know our fans with us. Um, you know it's 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 amazing to play in front of them, and um, you know I loved it. Um, I'm sure you know the teammates and loved it too. And you know it's it's great. Daniela, what was the message amongst the players at halftime? uh to keep being keep being physical um uh, keep the intensity up and uh make sure that that we keep them in the half court uh, and don't don't let them score easy baskets like they like they did in the in the games that we lost uh against them um and you know keep playing you know after uh we've been switching a lot and playing one on one defense i thought we did a pretty good job with that uh, and so uh, I think it was a good overall effort, especially on the defensive end. There's been a lot of talk about staying ready. Can you tell us a little bit more about what that process of staying ready physically, mentally looks like for you? Uh, is is uh, honestly not easy. I've never been in this situation before. I've always, always been a guy that played 30 plus minutes. And even when I started from the bench in Atlanta, I was playing a lot of minutes. So um, it's, it's pretty new for me, but uh, this is, you know, uh, something that you, you learn how to do it and it's all mental. Uh, you know, the body, uh, you work every day to get your body ready. Uh, but the mental part is such a mental game that, uh, in a situation like mine, you just, you just gotta be ready mentally, stay there, keep focusing every, every timeout, follow what's going on, uh, study the game, study the game plan, uh, and just be ready because when when your name get called, you know, you got to you get these playoffs, no mistakes allowed and you got to be ready. So, like I said, it's a new situation for me, but, um, you know, I thought that I did a pretty good job. What specifically defensively do you think you guys did better today? We I thought we uh, we uh, rebound the ball better for sure. They had a lot of second chances point in the last game that, that we played. So we rebound the ball, uh, allow them only on one chance. Uh, one shot, and then uh, our one-on-one -on -one defense in the post and on the outside was pretty good. On after after we were doing uh, one switching one through five, uh, I thought our one-on-one -on -one defense was was key. It was very good. Hey Gallo, we know your team's going to be intense on the road, but obviously they've got an intense environment as well. How do you maintain your composure and have a similar game to this one, if not better, in that environment? Uh, you know, I think, you know, we have, uh, we have champions in this team, you know, a lot of vets and champions, they, they've been in this situation before. And, and so we, we, we all know how to handle, how to handle that. We just got to keep, stay composed and, and, and not get caught into, uh, maybe if they go on a run one time or two times, it might happen, it might not happen, but if it does happen, uh, you know, it's, it's a playoff game and, you know, you got to get yourself the chance to get back in the game uh, and not get, you know, the emotion, get the best uh, out of you. Uh, but like I said, we have champions and great players in this team, and I'm, I'm sure that we're all going to be ready and handle it in the right way.